What's going on guys? It's your boy Chaos. I'm bringing you guys another video. Today we're bringing you guys probably one of my favorite passing plays in the game. I usually don't show you guys stuff out of my own formation, but today I'm going to give you guys something special. It's PA Shot Wheel out of, uh, out of the Gun Trips tight end. And this thing kills every coverage, guys. It's one of my favorite plays in the game, if not my favorite play. So I'm going to jump into it and show you guys what I like to do. I'm going to just show you guys all the different coverages. So what you want to do, you want to have your trips to the left. Uh, well, not to the left, to the wide hash. So we're on the right hash right now. So you want it to the left. If I was on the other hash, I would want it to the right. So I'm just going to baseline here with the defense. I'm just going to give you guys a uh, real quick cover three with clouds. Obviously, they're going to back this guy off. And here's the here's the first setup that I like to do. Just fade the tight end, hit circle. So I'm going to just go through all the different things you can do with this, with this first setup. First and foremost... You got that crosser. So that's going to get open every time. That fade's going to push back all the deep blues. And you're going to have that every single time. So that's the first read. And it doesn't matter what the coverage is. That I don't have to show you against anything else. So that's going to get open against everything. After that, that's when you start getting everything else. So you have this backside post that's really, really, really good. Probably one of my favorite throws in the game. Even more than the crosser, to be honest with you. Just get to see the spot that it gets to. Gets to a little soft spot inside the zone, and it's perfect every time. I'm going to show you guys in the replay here. If you look, this hook curl that's right here, he sits down on the hitch. And keep in mind, we're shaded up. He goes to the crosser, and then when he comes back down, he doesn't, I didn't even wait enough, but he'll come back down to here. He's not going to, he's not going to play this post. So, when he shades up, that's why you play the cross. When you shade down, he's going to play the, the hitch. That's my mistake. But, um... I'm going to shade down now. He should play the hitch. That's what they usually play. But game is weird sometimes. We'll see. Shade it down this time. Yeah, okay. So he sits down on the hitch. And then you throw right, right with the post. So now you guys see the crosser and the post. And the, cross, the crosser and the post against cover three. And now I'm going to show you guys what else you can do against with the, with the playmaker and hitch. So... Say they're doing something like this, okay? You gotta imagine they're gonna have a user on the field. So I'm just gonna man him up on triangle, okay? And then uh, you have this hook curl. Maybe he's trying to take away the post. So one of these is the user, essentially, and then one's trying to take away the post. You can, I'm just gonna do that so I can have some space to mess around with my hitch. So I can play maker at right, I can play maker at left, and kind of just mess around with it. I could go diagonal. Um, I probably wouldn't do it left unless it's cover two. So now I'll jump into cover two and start showing you guys the breakdowns. I'll show you the hitch first against it. See, cover two. There you go. And they have cloud flats, playmaker left. Throw it and go pick up yards. So you can start messing around with that hitch. And then Go back to cover two again. I'll show you guys the crosser and the post first versus cover two as well. Post gets to that soft spot once again. Now, this is something you want to do. Nobody really, not many people want cover two right now, especially against trips, but that's the one thing that's going to follow the post a little bit. Now, obviously, I showed you you can still throw it because he sits behind him. And I can keep waiting on it, keep waiting on it, keep waiting on it. But, um, and I, I, I click on there and I catch it and it's no problem, whatever. But that's why you want to do this playmaker out. Now, if this is a hard flat, he's not going to follow him. But since there's nothing to pull down the cloud, he follows his post for a while. And that's why you just playmaker the hitch and go pick up all this green over here. But you can still throw the post regardless. If you don't playmaker or you're pressured or something, you can still throw it. It's just something that you want to look for and be, be mindful of, I should say. Um, I'll go to cover two again, and I'll just show you guys that you can still throw the crosser over the cloud. It's not a problem. Got a crazy black shit there, but you can see it's open. I'll, I'll throw it for you guys though. There you go, wide open. And as you guys can see, there's tons of reads you can make on this play. 
Something else I'm going to just uh, bring up for you guys is something else you guys can do. I don't do this setup a ton until the red zone usually, but this is something so that's pretty common to do. I'm sorry, you guys can probably can hear those guys outside. Yep. Live in the city, boys. Yeah, yeah I, can't, <laughs> I can't control that. But hopefully it wasn't too loud on the mic for y'all. But So like I'm just going to simulate like uh, a cover three blitz or something. So like maybe 3 3 5 out or something. Maybe maybe they want to do this and they're lurking right here. Right? And they don't and you want to catch them off guard. You can just throw this wheel. I'm going to I'm going to leave my guy on there so it looks like he's playing in the middle of the field, which is maybe what a user might do. And uh, you're going to have this wheel right here. So they send their flat, bam, throw that wheel out there. Go pick up some rack. So that's just something to keep note of if they're doing that to you. If they're sending their outside cloud and you want to make them pay for it you can keep that wheel but that that fade hitch setup right here is my main setup reblock the running back and it's really really good that post is a lot quicker and shorter than it looks it gets open under under everything and then the crosser obviously can get open with the with the middle deep loose pushed back by that fade and then the hitch you can play maker wherever you want it to go so there's a lot of things that you can do it's a lot of a lot of things that the computer the, the other player has to take away and it's not easy to do so i hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys can add it to your scheme and take it easy. Peace.